I am explaining about git installation and github account creation. So, for git installation, we need to download the git software. So, in Google, you need to go git download for Windows. Then, download the latest package and uh, select your environment, download for Windows. If you download is not populated, so click here to download, do this one and wait for the download completion. This git is now using for the as a DevOps tool, so it will be utilized as a source code management software. So, it we, we using with git we can store the programmable file with version wise like tagging every time that is the thing that is why we are installing the git. So, if you install in the git in your folder, so that folder can store the software version wise that is the important that is why we are using git and there is a lot of Oh, software is there like git, but in the popular source code management software is a git and it is a distribution version control software. So, I will explain what is the distribution control software. I actually already installed in git that is why it is showing error. This is a already open window that is why it is not allowing to install. Now, it is will show a con continuation. So, I installed already git that is why it is showing removing status, then it will go for the installation now. And meanwhile, I am explaining about what is uh, distribution <coughs> version control system, VCS means version control system, what is the distribution. So, every project in a software industry will work with a lot of developers. So, he is the developer A, he is the developer B, B developer C. So, everybody working on the software, so that is why they are having uh, code in the their local folders. So, they are working for this remotely stored software if you think. When 
so when clone the code from the remote repository this is a remote it like cloud so it is available for all repository repository means hosting the code mean play can we can place the code it is giving us some rental base look uh, storage so we can store the code so with the version wise capability it means there is a installed git uh, features with the rep repository so that's why that is also github is a one of the git uh, provide features this is a remote so here also we having the copy of code copy of a code means similar code so same code we can have find here also so like so as same in your next location also with the another developer with the his system having the local working directory so like that so everybody having the same copy of the code so when disaster recovery method so if your remote repository is not working any scenario so we can co uh, work on the any developer code so as a make as a remote repository so we need to make as a remote repository and we can work with that code that's the thing so that's why it is distributed to all equally so that's why it is a distribution version control system the remaining softwares uh, like uh, source code main softwares little bit different so it is already completed installation this is a method easy so so after finishing the installation your folder will be capable can store the code as a version wise if you install the uh, software in the git folder that is the important so that's why i already installed previously that's why i removing this so this folder also i am removing so now here when you typing cmd so there is nothing there one of the command is the git is that git status so nothing it is showing like empty so if you want install git you want to install git on the folder and for storing the some code so then you need to give command like git init so initiated empty repository means there is no code in that folder this is a software of a .git folder and this folder is nothing so like that we need to install the git so the not much higher there and we will need to create a one account like a github so i will show you how to we can create the github account so for that so we, if you having existing account with github so with sign in and if you not having no account then sign up and this is a remote repository so it is publicly provided so with free of cost that's the thing what you saying already account you if you say asking like question it is continue loading it is not correct uh, current status yes asking that mail enter the mail then do rama @gmail.com and continue create a password so make this make sure that your password be unique and uh, maintain with uh, strong recommended passwords 
and enter username it is asking Rama or IT FRI and friend support hmm. so then continue maybe one so maybe support is there that's why one if you want yes yes so verify the your account so click puzzle so start project so pick the spiral galaxy this is answer so now asking second time it is completed and create account so it is asking <coughs> now it is redirecting to the mail account so we need uh, to complete this uh, account creation need one code so try to log into the mail id and for getting the code so i am going here and i will access my mail id So I will uh, selecting the my mail ID. So it is I received one launch code. Copy that code and paste your account so it is auto will be auto will automatically pick this code and validate the things and complete the validation and we are into the account so for just me i selecting continue and what is the project interested so need to select what feature you need required so uh, security labs client so project management like community so this is asking only if you want do like that otherwise you can leave it empty also if you give it empty also it is no issue but it will show some futures so it is the two plans showing so free and team only public private repositories so for free 2000 and csd minutes per month so for 2000 minutes it is a free account 500 mb for package and storage community support is there so this is enterprises it is uh, not public level available so branches multiple pull requests code owners draft so this is the futures so i will select the continue for free so i initiating passes so i will create a empty repository like azure devops So I will creating to the public and create a repository. So this is a folder we having. We can um, so we can store the code from remotely. So I am continue to executing this code uh, commands to push the code from local directory to the remote directory. So please watch this. So I went to this folder. So I am doing this uh, command in the bash shell command. So when installation completed in folder, so there is a bash shell 
git bash screen will be appear. So, it is a little bit Linux environment we can run like. So, some uh, Linux commands can execute here. So, what, what I am doing now? I am pasting that code. So, it is wrongly copied. So, so, so copying this code. Yes, enter. So, echo means it will be print as the same actor Azure DevOps and uh, it is re this the data printed data will be stored to the read.md folder. So, we can check this what changes happen in this folder. We can check the from the local folder. So, this file added and with details of Azure DevOps that is the thing. Then I am try to execution complete the execution of the codes with the following document this one. So, I initiated already get in initiated. So, what I am doing now? So, before this command I am I will showing the one command git status. Initially, what is the status when before executing this git add command using add command. So, there is a readme.md file is showing readme red color with untracking file like name. So, for this tracking purpose you need to give uh, execute the command or give the one command like git add. So, git add readme.md file. So, I did. So, it is now I am executing the what is the status and checking now any changes happen and checking. So, here so it is uh, tracking now it is a readme.md. So, normally in folder So, normally this is a test folder if you think. Now, we are working in the test folder. So, every 12 test folder if you installed git here, then it is having a capability of store code in the store source code management. So, there is a three layers will be like divided into in folder like imagination. So, first one is the working directory it is a local directory directory place. So, if you changes anything here it will not tracked by the system and it will be not effective in your time stopping commit like it is give an unique id and with date and time and when we are changes uh, did everything will be tracking from the commit location. So, this is the working directory, this is a staging before going to the last stage remote rep repository. So, this is a local repository, so local repository and this is a staging, staging means so indexing or staging both are terminology we use. So, it is going to the final destination area, it will be staged. So, it will track and we will check that anything is missed or thing, then we will ensure and finally, we commit to this repository of local. So, it is a final. So, if you do the local repository commit, so I am executing continuously, I executing the next commit. So, I doing the commit. So, I am doing the first commit as mentioned provided by the git hub. So, what happening? It is one file changed, one insertion create mode 10644 readme.md and master and things. So, I let me check what is the git status now. what she is saying it is nothing to commit working tree is clean. So, it is everything clean is saying means working drinks means working directory only this is the directory it is clean. Now, after adding 
it will move to the staging area. After the staging area, we are committing and it moved to here. So there is a no file pending. It is a clean. It's saying. So I this is the branch means main working area commits are if we can find. So I will doing that. E try to execute in these commands as provided by the Microsoft Azure DevOps. So sorry, Microsoft GitHub. So GitHub, I check out the Git branch main. So I will check Git branch. Which one is there? I will check. So Git branch means what branch we are using now. It will show like. So it is taking this much of time means. So after this uh, command, we need to execute this uh, remote. Maybe yeah. So branch code I typed wrong. That's the problem. B R E N C H. Sorry for that. And this is the main branch we are working on the code with code. So I am pasting the git remote. So it is added. So I want to execute the next git push. So what is will happen? We will see and paste the code here. So what will happening? We'll check. So signing with the user or signing with your code or token. So I will take one token method. Oh, if you having default browser set to this one, then fine. Otherwise, it will be getting a different browser and no It will not find any credential, so it will get an error. So I will go to the developer setting, and there is a person access token. So generate a token and give as a uh, test. And it is uh, will be thirty days thing. So you can give full access workflow. Like you can you can check up to this one. Okay, no problem. And generate a token. And copy this token and try to paste here and sign in. And what will happening? We will check this one. Anything will happen? Yeah, it is happened. So, git push happened. So, counting object hundred percent, writing object hundred percent, two twenty four bytes and total three delta. So, new branch main to local main to remote rem main. So, origin main. So, branch main. So, this is happened. So, we are account is there. GitHub remote repository. Our repository is that this one only. I think so. Azure DevOps. So in README file, previously nothing is there. So there is commit history four minutes ago. Where did so April 11 and 10:54 time. This is the time only. We did commit, and there is a four minutes ago. App and commit first commit. That is a message. App name. This is the file. So, so we are storing the our code successfully into the remote repository. That's the main agenda. So we are successfully installed one uh, Git uh, installation tool. Git and and we will install installed in the Git in a local directory, and after that. Uh, we executed three commands, and uh, we created a GitHub remote repository account, and then we will push the code as provided by the GitHub document successfully. This is a process of Git and GitHub Git installation, and as well as GitHub account creation. This is a very simple and easy. Thank you.